80 years ago tomorrow, the largest amphibious invasion in World War II took place on D-Day. Tonight in a special report, Don Dare talks with a Maribel woman who was a baby when her father landed on Omaha Beach. Donna Young holds a picture of her father she never knew, PFC David Ray Guy. It is precious. He was killed in action in a small French town in July of 1944 when Donna was a toddler. Private First Class Guy landed at Omaha Beach D-Day Plus 12 with the 83rd Infantry Division. He left a hole in my heart. And I can see it through your tears right now. I don't know why. I think that all the times that he has held me and all, it's brought a bond between us. Here is Donna, her dad, and mother, Eunice, on the day he left to join the Army in 1943. I think of him so much every year at this time. And what all the soldiers went through, what we can't imagine. Donna holds a special place in her heart for the Purple Heart her mother, Eunice, was sent in 1944. At the Blount County War Dead Memorial, David Guy's name is etched in the stone. But Eunice was originally given conflicting dates of his death. And she got the misinformation first of the wrong date. Donna's mother had this letter published in 1944, pleading for anyone in her husband's army outfit to contact her. It's the White House that gets in touch with her. Right. And in that letter from the White House, you learn and your mother learned how he died. Right. In April of 1945, this letter from the War Department sent through the White House clarifies that PFC David R. Guy was killed on July 12, 1944, not July 19th, as Eunice was first told. He was ambushed in the hedgerows a few miles off of the beach, Normandy Beach. It wasn't until 1948 that the remains of Donna's father came home to East Tennessee. He had originally been buried at a military gravesite in France, but his family wanted him back. It never had been pointed out to me about the VFW until lately. And uh, I, I'm thankful that I have a picture to show. And here's a picture of you and your, and your sister. Is there any memory of that day? Yes. I remember when they brought his casket back. David Ray Guy's final resting place is Grandview Cemetery in Maryville. Just imagine what those soldiers went through and how much they paid, the price that they paid for our freedom. It was not a little price they paid, it was a big price. Donna's dad made the ultimate sacrifice, and his memory is honored. Don Dare, six on your side. Don, thank you very much. Again today, the eve of the 80th anniversary of D-Day. This evening, we're sharing the stories of the brave soldiers like Private First Class David Ray Guy from the monumental day in U.S. history. You can tune in as we honor the anniversary of D-Day the greatest victory. Our parent company is Nexstar, and they'll be sharing stories from the beaches of Normandy and how families are remembering their loved ones. That's coming up right here tonight at 7 in place of the 7 o'clock news.